tonight for God to deliver and save this family and all families that are connected from the bondage to sin, from bondage to taboo, from bondage to all kinds of family causes, from bondage to all hurts and, and the bondages. I pray that God will liberate everyone, every family under the sound of my voice that is engaged. Every family under the sound of my voice that is inside their basket. Let the basket shatter and may you be delivered. Every family that their destiny, their blessings, their favors, their fruitfulness is in the grave. I pray that by the power of this mass tonight, that grave shall be covered and the family shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I assume every spiritual casket. Where your blessings, where your children, and your various marriages are buried. I exude those caskets, and I pray that God may release that blessing upon you. May the mercy of God turn this around for you, children of God. Because that mercy is flowing at this hour. By the power of the mercy of God, we are here. By the grace of God, we are here. The grace of God is His mercy. May that grace fall upon you. May that grace fall upon your family. May that grace fall upon your genealogy. May that grace fall upon your foundation. Upon your family team. Let there be healing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ, having confessed our sin and called on God for mercy, I want us all to say together the act of contrition. You can say it in Igbo. Amen. This prayer is the summary of our penitential right, our the manifestation of our sorry to God. In this prayer, we profess that we believe in God, that we believe in His power to forgive sin, and that we have a firm resolve never to go back to our seats again. We are saying it not just on, on behalf of ourselves as individuals, but we are saying it on behalf of our various families, on behalf of our families that are connected to this Eucharist. I pray that God will grant us our high desire through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I therefore give the official absolution of the church upon you and upon your families before we continue in this mass. God, the Father of heaven, through the death and resurrection of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sin. Through the ministry of the church, may God grant you pardon and peace, Amen. and I absorb you from all your sins Amen. and the sins of your ancestors. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, through which we are forgiven, is what we celebrate in the Holy Eucharist. That is why the Eucharist is the reenactment of the sacrifice that Jesus Christ offered on the altar. With confidence that God's mercy has located us, their friends in Christ, let us forge ahead in this Holy Eucharist. May we rise. And I invite you, their friends in Christ, in a brief moment of silence, to present your petitions to God. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty God, who command us to prepare the way for Christ the Lord, grant in your kindness, we pray, that no infirmity may weary us as we long for the comforting presence of our heavenly physician, who lives and rests between the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I decree 
that as we continue this mass, that every cause and bondage existing in our lives has been broken. Yeah. And this mass is a mass celebrating, celebrated to bring blessings upon blessings upon you in Jesus' name. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. First reading. The first reading. The reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 25 to 31. To whom then will you compare me, that I should be like him, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see, who created this, who brings out their host by numbers, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might. And because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel? My way is hid from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God. Have you not known, and have you not heard, that the Lord is an everlasting God. The creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint. He does not grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint. And to him, who has no might, he increases his strength. Evil youths, shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and shall not be weary. They shall walk and shall not faint. The word of the Lord. Responsorial psalm. <clears throat> My soul gives thanks to the Lord. Respond. My, My soul gives thanks to the Lord. My soul gives thanks to the Lord. Respond. My soul gives thanks to the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget his benefits. Respond. My soul gives thanks to the Lord. It is the Lord who forgives all our sins and heals every one of his sicknesses. He redeems our life from the grave. He crowns us with mercy and compassion. Respond. My soul gives thanks to the Lord. The Lord is compassionate and glorious, slow to anger and rich in mercy. He does not treat us according to our sins or repay us according to our faults. Respond. My soul, soul gives thanks to the Lord. The gospel acclamation. Hallelujah for the Lord God, O Hippotent Redeemer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. is coming to save his people. Blessed are those who are ready to meet him. Hallelujah, Hallelujah for the Lord God who will put Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, sorry, Matthew's Gospel, chapter 11, from verse 28 to 30. At that time, Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, <coughs> and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my body lies. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen. By the hearing of this Gospel, may our sins be blotted out. Amen. Da kute chine kena Onye kuru sino zuo Da kuta kana waya Onye kuro mude no be wande Da kute chine kena Onye kuru sino zuo Da kuta kana said for those who fear God, for those who trust in him that all is working together unto good for them, you find out that the scripture is not mistaken and is really giving a divine mandate for God's blessing in the life of his people. And sometimes things happen Things happen in such a way that we do not imagine them. Our God remains a God of wonders. He, he, he keeps surprising us. When we chose to be here this night for this prayer, 
the kind of experience and the report I got in the counseling. When some of you came for counseling, uh, my ministry in Lagos, I never knew that this is what God wants to say to us. I don't think there's any other thing I'm preaching. God has said it all. Say, come to me, all you who are heavy, laden, and overburdened, and I will give you rest. What it simply means is that whatever you have suffering before today, that because by power, by the virtue of this mass that is taking place here now, that God has already given you rest. Amen. Amen. Because God himself, even when you cannot come to him, he has also come to you. Amen and amen. 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 But I want to tell you that he did not just come to you, but you are the one who searched for him. He now followed you. Remember what happened in Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, from verse 1 to 11. In the life of a man called Zacchaeus, his own was that he wants to see Jesus. And he went out in search of Jesus, that he may see him and know who he is and be able to have bear eyewitness of this great man who had been moving around doing miracles. And when he went out, because of the crowd, that crowd is obstacles, that crowd is challenges, that crowd is trials and the temptations that we need rest from. Those things were preventing Zacchaeus from getting to Jesus. But when Zacchaeus couldn't succeed, he went extra mile, went extra mile, climbed the sycamore tree. And when Jesus saw his faith and the extent he has gone, he said, come down for today, I will be in your house. I think that is the same thing that has happened about the family of Vincent Ekechuku. I know how many times the first day Antonia came for counseling. For this prayer to be possible, she came for counseling to see Father almost three times or more. And then a cousin phone call. This one took a phone. See now, Major Mbi said, Jeremy, better. Why are we keeping a phone? Bob Wilmer. Because he was trying. Convinced that God has revealed that through this visit and through this prayer that there will be total liberation yes. upon the family, upon the children of Vincent Ekachiku, in any way they are held. When I knew that the game is no longer child's play, is that after sometimes she. She felt maybe I'm seeing it as a woman's stuff. And she pushed and sent her husband. And the husband began to come. I came to me. And I'm the husband of that woman I've been troubling you since 2019. Father, please, I need you to come. As I came to that prayer, that, my, that prayer that my wife came to tell you about. It is very, very necessary. And after that, he kept calling on the phone. At a stage, I felt I am not one. God wants to come. If not, when I, I had given you a date, why did the coronavirus come and scatter everything? The time I gave you 21 days prayer for preparation, so that at the end of that, I will come. Coronavirus came. And no movement. Even when you ended the prayer, no movement, nothing happened. So I said, maybe it's a sign that maybe God wants someone else to, to do the prayer. And I tried to see if I can link you up with some other priests that are within your area here. And what started coming up from that connection, 
opened my eyes that this is a mission for me and that I, I need not de delay longer for it. The day I gave the date for this prayer to take us today, I did not reflect over it. It came as a wave of insight. She just called me and said, this is what happened. I, I contacted him. This is what he said and this is what he said. I said, Pam, 8th of December night that we done into into the morning of uh, of uh, um, eight night that we done into night morning i will be in that place and the mass we shall celebrate will be midnight mass of night and that is what we are doing now yes. but everything the devil did for it not to work i told you since i bought my car my car has never stopped me on the way but today my top gasket bumped when I'm coming to this prayer, I say what? For me to postpone it again, and maybe the devil will go and re-strategize, then come. I say, this call go one, I will score you 20. At the end, it will be 21 and, and, and the 90 zero. And I think that's what I have given to him. Because, uh, he took away my top gasket that I may not come here. And I came here with a car that is even bigger than, than the car I was coming with. Yeah. Amen and amen. Yeah. Because a, a friend sent his car immediately with, with which I am here to make sure that this prayer is taking place. What I'm telling you happened in Edo State. And somebody from Asaba drove down to a door to give me his car. Say, continue that prayer. I just came to Asaba. Went to his house. He dropped and said, we will manage. Anyhow, we will manage. But I carry my motor. Go, you. That prayer, God has sanctioned it. Yeah. And from there, we see where Asaba is, Delta, to Imo State. To Imo State. And it became a night journey. And we still came and still met time. You know, the devil would have also succeeded if we had not arrived here before 12. Because I know that 12 is the main time. That midnight, when occulting people gather, when the people that tie families gather, when witches and wizards are having meetings, that is the time we are celebrating past. Now, Guru Vincent Ekechuku. So, meeting Hari Ra as a chara. So, the ready meeting now is the meeting of the children of God on the altar of midnight mass. And in our meeting, the principal person, that is the chief person that has gathered us, came out to address us. In the gospel, you know, the gospel is Jesus, Logos, the word that became flesh. The God of St. John, chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was with God, the word took flesh and dwelt among us. That word is the gospel, that is what we read. And in Matthew, chapter 28, verse 11 to 30, that we read, it said, Come to me, all you who labor and overburdened, and I will give you rest. This is the Kechuku family. Come to me, and I will give you rest. In this Eucharist, God has given you rest. Amen. Your family problems are settled. Amen. Starting with barrenness, starting with unprogressiveness, starting with no fruitfulness, starting with sickness, any, any dimension of the sickness. Any dimension of the trial, any dimension of the problem, those causes are going to be broken tonight. Yeah. All yeah. is going to liberate you totally in Jesus' name. Yeah. So I'm not delivering homily, but I, I'm simply running commentary on what Jesus can have preached to us today. That because we sought him, and because he is here present in the Eucharistic celebration, that 
we have received the rest. Amen. 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 So, dear friends in Christ, after today, after this Mass, after this Mass, worry about nothing because God has given you rest. Amen. He said, Take my yoke upon you, for my yoke is easy, and my body is light. What he's trying to say is that anything that God allows in our lives as yoke or as body after this midnight mass we are celebrating in this family that it cannot keep us are you getting me yes. god's body is easy that is the one he allows to exist in our life because he will surely not allow us to have a trial that is going to be beyond us because our life cannot actually be totally without trials and temptation because like gold we are refined through those challenges. But anyone that came as a projected cause, if I can hear it, if a G went on a man, envy and jealousy will go, or this one is in order, we decree that all of them shall be broken tonight. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. I am opening every blocked womb. Every blood womb by pray that by the power of this midnight mass, I can only in any out to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Too good, you good to need me. God is mysterious, and why is mysterious is that He is a God who does something that is beyond human understanding. I want to tell you that the finite brain and mental acumen of human beings will not understand what God will do in your life and in your family. Yeah. Yeah. In a contemporary language, I will say, it will shock them. Yeah. Yeah. It will shock your enemy. Yeah. Yeah. They will look at you and say, mm -hmm. Why is it that his own case is different? Let me tell you, if you go to the Bible, there was a time in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10, when there was a curse upon a family from where a young man called Jabez came from. That curse was cause of unprogressiveness and abject poverty. That nobody will see the light of the day. Now, my dad, I'm begging a few human is in one hour. And Jabez prayed over it, just as we have said, Father, come and celebrate my for all, because the Holy Eucharist is the highest form of prayer. Are you getting me? It's the highest form of prayer we can say as Christians, not just as Catholics, but as Christians. The Holy Eucharist. And that's why all the prayer we are saying tonight, we are saying it in this Mass. So that the Eucharist will gather all of them and make it efficacious for us. Jabez prayed, say, Oh Lord, bless me and expand my cookie. Deliver me from my family curse and bondage. And the Bible said, God answered him and set him free. Child of God, midnight mass will settle the matter in your family. As I was coming to your place today, I was on my way. I drove myself down. A man called me from Israel. I don't know his town in Nigeria, but he became my fan, started following me, the midnight mass online, and then along the line, he started chatting me up and got my number. Boy, Geoffrey, the culture called me today. 
and was sharing his testimonies. Say, Father, God has done so much for me through this midnight mass. He has celebrated every day that I got connected to. For six years, I have been suffering from one problem to the other in this country. In fact, at a stage, it was no longer challenges of uh, unprogressive anxiety that I also had as dent that my spinal cord problem, my neck, two of my neck bones disjointed, my leg got, I had fracture up to three or four places that scan and everything said I can never walk again. And he said, Father, they wanted to do surgery. I said, no surgery. That God will do it for me. And he said he began to say, say the rosary. Every midnight he would wake up and say rosary. Until a pandemic came. And I began to stream midnight online. I said the first day he saw it. He joined. After that day he saw that the thing came up again. For one month he saw that it's consistent. He said, wow. That God had turned midnight rose into midnight mass for him. And he swore that nothing will ever make him to do work to miss this mass. That he will continue to connect to it. And he said he joined the mass. And that as he connected to this one, he began to join the mass. Before you know it, he said, Father, God healed me in a way I do not know. As I'm talking to you now, Father, I'm walking with my legs. Father, I have gone to get a job. I can walk now, I can aim. But this is somebody that had become a vegetable, according to medical reports. He said, yeah, God did wonders for me. I pray that one day I will come back to Nigeria and I will come and I testify before everybody in your ministry. This is what he was. He's recorded. Amen and amen. Amen. You are my phone. Sometimes when you call me, he begins to record the call automatically. A testimony. So what I'm trying to tell you, dear friends in Christ, is that God's presence and power manifested itself in different ways. How the man that gave me his car gave me the car. The car I'm, told, I'm telling you, the owner has not used this car up to up to three months, so he bought it. He bought it, he freely said, carry and go for that family deliverance. He didn't do it for me, but he did it for you. Because if God did not inspire him to be so generous and self-sacrificial, it may have been difficult. I would have told you maybe tomorrow, or oh, when I fix my car, we reschedule. Then tell me what will happen. Some of you have traveled all the way from Lagos. Even some of your prayer partners that came back with you will start going back to come another time. People will say, that you could do me, make one like a fancy, and again, and the father and the mother disappointed people are that far out. Without comes of conscience, they appear to disappoint me. But God said that, shall, that the family will not be disappointed. Yes. And because you are not disappointed in this prayer today, because God made it possible. I want you to know that God has settled everything. Yeah. My being here is just for him to tell you that he has done it. Yeah. And he has done it in Jesus' name. Yeah. So, dear friends in Christ, our own portion and position in what we are doing tonight is to have faith, acclamation of faith. I've told people often times, swallow faith. And faith will heal you of all your sicknesses. Amen. Whether emotional, financial, physical, even spiritual. Let us hold on to faith. The master Jesus said himself, said it to himself, come to me, all you who labor and overburden, and I will give you rest. What it means is that those of you who are walking without seeing the fruit of their labor, after today, you begin to see the fruit of your labor. Amen. If you read Isaiah chapter 65, verse 23, the scripture said that your labor will not be in vain. Yes. So come to me, I will give you rest. God will give you rest. Those of you looking for fruit of the womb, God will give you rest. Yes. 
o te gi ngo bara ogu fo da la cha na si oke o fo ki ri zie si mado e ba na acho nwa you have done different kinds of novenas have done different kinds of fasting you have taken different kinds of medication you have dreamed different kinds of dreams jesus is saying i will give you rest And that rest is for those who come to him. And that you have come to him in this mass. You have come to him by seeking that this man be celebrated in this family. And when he falls, you know, You already tell me, Father, come back in the ball. Say, Father, just hold him mass in our compound. And God will do it. And I want you to know that because it is going on now. God has done it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us stand up and make this prayer of renunciation and rejection of anything cost in our family. That God, as we continue in this Mass, when we lift up the cup of, of uh, uh, blood and lift up the body of Jesus Christ, that God will turn every cause into a blessing Amen. in our lives and in our families. Amen. Say after me. God is able, God is able to, deliver me and my to deliver me and my family. God is able, God is able to, deliver me and my family. to deliver me and my family. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For the benefit and provision of the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Let the sins of my family that resulted in causes be wiped away. When this blood is lifted up tonight, let the sins be washed away. Let my family be cleansed and set free from every cause. I command all causes issued against my family, family and against me, against me to break, to break by, the by the power of this midnight mass. This midnight mass. I, command I command all evil spirits spirit associated with my causes and my family causes to leave this vicinity. Now, now, as this mass is going on, this mass is going on. I command, I command, and I take authority, I take authority over inherited causes, and I decree that they be broken by the power of this midnight man, whether from the, our father, or from our mother, or from our ancestors, or from those who existed before them. Anything they did wrong shall not affect us again. I disconnect myself, and I disconnect my brothers and sisters who are suffering it today from those past sins. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Say after me again, I break, I break any cause which may be in my family, which may be in my family, back to ten generations, back to ten generations. on both my father's side, on both my father's side. And, my mother's side. and my mother's side, I reject them, I, reject them. I, dis I, I disconnect myself from them, I myself in from Jesus' them. name, amen, amen, amen. 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 I renounce, I renounce and I break, and I break all causes put on my family and on my family line and my descendants. I reject it. Every cause upon this set, take a Jukusu children that they will not prosper, that they will not be fruitful, that they will not be our children. I come at Against it, I, I decree. Let them be broken by the power of this being that mass. In Jesus' name, Amen, Amen, Amen. 
I break every cause of automatic failure. I break every cause of automatic failure. Working in my family. Working in my family. When you are doing something to appear that the thing is going, but as you are just finishing, the next thing you see it has failed. Automatic failure. Miscarriages. Blessing abortion. And so on and so forth. Every cause of automatic failure. Every cause of automatic failure. Existing in my life and in my family. Existing in my life and in my family. I command. I command. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. Break by fire. By the power of this midnight man. In Jesus' name. I take authority over. I take authority over. And break every cause. And break every cause of sickness, infirmity, deformity in my family. I take authority over. And I break every cause of financial destruction. Every cause of financial and underachievement in my life and in my family. I take authority over. And I break. Every cause, Every cause of marriage destruction, of marriage destruction and infidelity, and infertility, and unfruitfulness in, in my life and in my family. In my life, Everlasting Father, Everlasting by the power of this fa midnight mass, let these causes, this causes stand broken, stand broken in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I cancel, I cancel the consequences, the consequences and the evil effects, and evil effects of, all causes, of all causes in my family. In in my family. family. The Evil effect, the evil effect of all causes in my family, upon my life, upon my marriage, and upon my siblings. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I break and I cancel. I break and I cancel every cause. Every cause placed upon me. Placed upon me. Out of jealousy. Out of jealousy. Out of envy. Out of, envy, out of wickedness. Make me the prayer, child of God. Make me the prayer. Every cause placed upon me. Every cause placed upon me. Out of jealousy. Out of anger. Out of wickedness. Out of envy. I reject it. I reject it because she did not support me. So what they wanted you to do against the will of God. Out of anger, they cost you. Out of jealousy, they cost you. Because somebody was not blessed like you. He cost you that your blessings shall no longer flow again. Hey, any cost placed upon you. Out of jealousy, out of envy, out of anger, out of wickedness. I reject them. I cancel them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I reverse. I reverse the entire course upon my life. The entire course upon my life. And upon my family. And upon my family. And I convert them. And I convert them. And upon this midnight mass. And upon this midnight mass. For multiple blessings. For multiple blessings. And favors. And favors. Make it a prayer. Make it a prayer. Make it a prayer. Every course. The entire course is upon my life. Upon my family. Upon my family. I reject them. I cash them. And I convert them. I renounce them. And I convert them into multiple blessings and favors upon my life and upon my family. After today, multiple blessings, multiple favors shall be my portion. For God will pass this around for my good. Child of God, pray, 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 pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For setting me and my family free. For, for changing our story. For changing our story. To your glory. For changing our story. For changing our story. To your glory.
giving us rest, for delivering us, for liberating us, and for blessing us. May your name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 It is over. It is over. The dominion of Satan. It is over. The dominion of Satan. It is over. It is over. It is over. The dominion of Satan. It is over. The dominion. Hallelujah. 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 H
Sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands and the praise and glory of His name for our good and good of all the church. Amen. Amen. May the sacrifice of our worship. Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And and with your spirit. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is only right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death, and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Give up the more. Give up the more. Give up the more. Yes, I'm morning. I'm not to a 
Everybody say it. My Lord, my Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <speaking in Hebrew> Oh, <laughs> 
my Lord and my God, have mercy on me. My Lord and my God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on my family. Have mercy on my ancestors. Have mercy on my ancestors. Have mercy on my generation. Have mercy on my generation. Have mercy on our children. Have mercy on our children. In Jesus' name. Amen. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and pray out to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Obina our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your, of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Now the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we blessed Joseph, our Holy Spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. <coughs> this great hour. I pray, O oh Lord, that you may break and end the sorrow, the pain, the crisis of your children Amen. in this family. Amen. Every negative thing in their life, O oh Lord, I decree by the Eucharistic presence that they be turned into a blessing in their lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. The audience who takes away the sins of the world. As we continue in this Mass, may He take away all sorrow, Amen. all pain, Amen. whatever that troubles you through Amen. Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through Him and with Him and in Him. 
Creator of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Amen. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, and will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily prayer, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Yes, in one Namaka, yes, in one Namaka, no.
God the Lamb of God. The God Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. That the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. 
with our brothers and sisters who are following this mass online let us say the art of spiritual communion and we say it and then you say after me art of spiritual communion art of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe that you are present in the most Holy Sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I unite myself to you. And I unite myself to you. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally. Since I cannot this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. Those online, you're typing into the comment box, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if we are already there. I embrace you as if we are already there. I unite myself to you. I unite myself to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord, that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults 
and prepare us for the coming feast through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to thank all of you for your active participation in this Mass. With this Mass, we have done the real thing. The part two we are going to do is marking territory for God. Marking territory for God. Indicating the area we are handing over to God totally. Dedicating our compound to God. So we are going to bless the water and bless the salt. Use the salt to make a mark of God's blessing, permanent God's blessing, God's favor, open door by the power of the cross that all round victory will be granted to you, both physically and spiritually. Yeah. Yeah. And that by the power of the salt, the way salt to bring the test to soup when it is added and to food when it is added, that God will make your life and your family sweet and the test again. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So God will put test to your life, not just giving you rest, but he will also give you test. Giving you rest and give you test at the Amen. same time. Amen. While you are saved from anxiety and worry, you have to also be very pleasant and happy. Not just in yourself, but also you shall be a source of happiness to others Amen. who will encounter you. Amen. So after that, we will now take the sacrament and use it to bless the compound and then hand over this compound to God. Yeah. After that, leave it to God. Your blessing is already assured. Yeah. Your life can never remain the same again. Yeah. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirits. May the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you both now and forever. Amen. This Mass is ended. Relax in the peace of Christ. Amen. Thanks be to God. Those online, we thank you for participating with us. We pray that God may grant you all your heart desires. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, do well to do so. Holy Trinity Adoration TV on YouTube, Holy Trinity Adoration TV, on YouTube, subscribe, so that you can always follow us and get notification whenever we are online. May God bless you for your sacrifices through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus.